Hello, my name's Amanda Branston from Lavinia Stamps. Welcome to Mandy's Makes. I get asked a lot, how do I make water for underground scenes? Well, let me show you three ways that I like to use, using three different products. So we're going to start with this one, and this is Dinkles. And I'm going to use the large watercolour tag. And we're going to work directly onto the mat. Make sure you have plenty of kitchen paper for mopping up water. This is a wet one. Start with your tag upside down. Plenty of water. And then we're going to sprinkle sea blue just along the top. Actually, this is such a lovely colour. I might take it just a little bit further. <laughs> and blue dragon. There we go, that's plenty. You really don't need a lot at all. And I'm going to elevate the top end of that tag, or rather the bottom end in this case, and add more water and let it run down the card. If you get any heavy spots, just add a drop more water. Let it drip. And then we dry. I love that natural look of light in the water. These white spots are great. And then you've got real movement. So how did I finish mine off? Here it is. I used the marine kelp, thimbleweed, shoulder fish, fish set with twilight and warm breeze. The Koh-i-Noor Mandaloos pencils 4, 21, 8 and 24. The Kiritaki drop of shimmer, silver, just to add that little shine to the fish. And of course some holographic glitter. The second is this one. Again, we need another tag. And I've got my palette because we're going to be using the acrylic paints, just a little. That was Parisian. I've got the spruce. I'm going to add water to each of these. And we can mix them. And start with the white toward the top. It's a little bit off white because my paintbrush had already got some paint on it. But that's fine. It's going to be blended, so it's not a problem. A medium colour across the middle, and a beautiful blue across the bottom. Now, what we need to do is blend those together. Make sure your brush and any items you use with your acrylic paints are cleaned. Well, I always keep some water close by just to drop things in. Just helps keep the place tidy. Back on my tissue and then dry. These paints work so well like this. They blend beautifully. There's my finished tag. So for this, I use Dragon's Thorn, Leaf Bouquet, Spanish Moss, Flow, and the fish set. First fine clear warm breeze and twilight. I coloured it with the zig pens 025 pink, 082 purple, 031 cobalt blue. White uni ball pen, quickie glue pen and fab foils just for that finishing sparkle. A final tag is using elements watercolour tag her element inks so this is mermaid green sleeves and blue lagoon spritz each one and this time we're going to take the colours vertically go really straightforward now to top this one off 
I'm going to use a fan brush. I'm going to slightly dampen it whilst it's still damp, dry it off, and then we'll repeat. See if I've got something I can drag through that. That would be a bonus water <laughs> background already. Now it's dry, we can add the finishing drops and dry. There we go, a nice, easy water background. For the finished one, I used sea flower, leaf creeper and sea creatures. The versifying Claire, Warm Breeze, Golden Meadows, Twilights, Elements, Pine. Uniball pens, green bronze, red, quickie glue pen and a little bit of vintage shimmer for that extra bit of sparkle. I hope you enjoyed that. Please come and join me again sometime soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.